So in this video, I'm gonna be running you guys through what is all done to my upgraded Novridge SSG 10. The reason I'm making this video is because it's actually kind of difficult to find really good um, tech videos. Well, there's good tech videos on how to upgrade this gun, but t people don't give you a good idea of what parts to exactly purchase to make this gun shoot like a freaking monster. So I first ran the SSG 10 with an M150 spring, which is about 2.2 joules, 460 FPS, um, just out of the box. I ran it for an entire season with the slider hop-up adjustment, and honestly, it did the job. It was a good out-of-the-box sniper. You cannot complain for 299 euro. Um, granted that you do have to buy a scope for it and BBs and whatnot, but honestly, it was a freaking great gun out of the box can't knock it really can't knock it for the price um, if you're just getting into snipers i think it's a great beginner setup even when it's stock now there are a lot of upgrades that you can do to this to make it shoot like a freaking monster now i'm going to go through my entire setup here okay just from front to back and i'm also going to shoot the gun to show you guys how freaking quiet this gun is okay so um right off the bat um, i did cover this in some agm um, summer crafting material. I used some of the KMCS rifle wrap on the um, front of the rifle here. I covered the entire rifle in jack pike tape. Then I shoe good some KMCS leaves, some um, custom dyed leaves, and then I actually placed a Novridge scope on here. I don't mind it. I think it has pretty good eye relief. I might try out a couple different scopes over the next like six months or so um, just to test other things out and see what else is out there other than the Novridge one. But um, I'm also running a GoPro Hero 7 here as I do obviously record my gameplays. So I'm running a Hero 7 here with the Novridge um, GoPro mount, which is really nice actually. It's kind of low profile. It doesn't stick out too much, but it's securely, like this has never fallen off on me, which is awesome. Then I actually run my scope cam. I have a run cam, scope cam 4K, I wanna say. It's the one that has about four hours of battery life. Um, maybe it's a 1080p version, but anyways, um, I have that right on the top here. I just put a little mount on here and actually the um, scope of my rifle doesn't catch the bottom of that scope cam, which is really nice. So I just run the scope cam on the actual barrel rather than on the top of this um, Novridge scope. For some reason, it just canters like by a degree too far up. And unfortunately, I just like the, the scope cam looks up into the sky, which is kind of unfortunate because it'd be a little easier if I could just have the scope cam on top of my Novridge scope, but I just couldn't ever get it to work. So I just keep it on the front of the barrel there. Now I have from Novridge the um, spare magazine um, holder here. So I just keep a spare mag actually on the gun. This is probably one of the most convenient things that I've actually purchased for this gun in terms of like externals. Um, it's just really nice to have another, you know, 30 rounds or however many are in here, just at your disposal right here. I don't have to grab anything from my plate carrier or anything. As of right now, I have a 60 degree flamingo bucking inside of here. Now. I will mention too, I'm gonna to leave links to every single piece of equipment that I mentioned in this video. So it's easy for you guys to purchase the right equipment for your SSG 10. So I got a Flamingo bucking in, in here. I run 0.43 to 0.46 gram BBs, kind of depends on the amount of bush that we're playing in. If it's really, really dense bush, then I'm gonna probably run a 0.46 just to cut through that um, bush a little easier. For the most part though, I'd say about 80% of the time I'm running 0.43s and this thing shoots a 4.3s like a freaking dream. It is an absolute laser. So again, 60 degree flamingo bucking by Sniper Mechanics. I added a Tridos. 2.0 pro version TDC, huge, huge upgrade. I actually tossed this in before I even tossed a bucking in and any other upgrades, and this gun shot very noticeably better. Um, so I would say that if you're gonna do any upgrades first, I would say just get the Tridos TDC as well as the Flamingo bucking just to start. Now, moving on to the internals on this side, we have a Sniper Mechanics Wasp Piston. So um, I put the medium air brake in there, and then I think it was the medium weight, and it shoots so freaking nice. Like, I'm gonna shoot one round here just to show you guys. Like, it is really quiet. Stupid quiet. I like this is for sure the most quiet rifle I've ever shot in my life but yeah the wasp piston was a huge upgrade and basically things that I do have on the way for this are a Novridge short barrel but I'm going to keep 
or a short outer barrel, but I'm gonna keep the long inner barrel and I'm just gonna put a knob ridge suppressor over top just to suppress that crack a little more, even though this wasp piston does quiet down the rifle substantially. So guys, this is the full upgrade on my SSG-10. It doesn't take much to upgrade this fully and fully tech it out. It didn't even really cost that much money, but if you guys wanna purchase all the equipment to make your gun fire like this, but I'm gonna take some test shots here, turn on the scope cam and show you guys how damn consistent this thing is. So um, yeah, we're gonna fire up scope cam right now and show you guys uh, a couple shots. All right guys, so we just popped on the scope cam here. Take a couple shots. Now this is across the entire field. Give it a cut a little bit more hop. Tridos TDC is absolutely amazing. Hit. Hit. This is about 80 meters out. Hit. 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 Give it two notches. So yeah guys, that's how the upgrade SSG-10 shoots. Um, it's pretty freaking accurate. That's again about like 80 meters or so. And it's like, yeah, it, it's hitting that target pretty freaking consistent. I just need to dial in the scope a little better. I just got to the field, but yeah, overall highly recommend all these upgrades. Um, this is probably like, I'd say the cheapest way to tech out your SSG-10 in my honest opinion. So yeah guys, I really just wanted to make this video to um, shed light on how easy it is to actually tech out an SSG-10 and what the exact parts entail. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Airsoft gameplay videos, reviews, tech videos, and so much more. Catch you next video. Peace.